Hey guys, Zoll here, and today I want to talk about a very important topic, and that is how much chemists actually get paid. Because although we may all love science, it can also be a difficult choice when thinking about how expensive college is and how much you're going to end up making after college, and that's a huge factor in deciding what your major is. So today I want to go over the American Chemical Society 2022 salary survey and break down how much chemists actually actually make in the US. And I'm going to mainly focus on the US on this video because that's the data I have access to and there is so many different factors depending where you are in the world. So I'm going to start out this video talking about kind of the different sectors, government, industry, etc. and what the median salaries are there. I'm then going to talk about education and how much a bachelor's versus master's or PhD makes. I'm also going to touch on how much a chemical engineer versus a chemist makes and then we're going to finish it off by going through the median salaries depending where in the US you are because there's also variance depending on if you're in like the southwest versus the east coast versus the west coast. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys. I hope I can break down this American Chemical Society survey and all the data on it for you. And with that, let's hop right into it. Now, the first thing to mention is the survey is done with only American Chemical Society members, and it was done with about 10,000 chemists responding to it. And so you've got to remember that 10,000 chemists, although it is a lot, it is probably a small sample size in the grand scheme of how many chemists there are working in the US. And you have to think about things like if someone's an ACS member and decided to respond to the survey, it might be biased in some direction of maybe like a higher salary would be more likely to respond to a salary survey. I don't know for sure. It's just one thing you have to take into consideration when looking at any survey data like this. So first things first, let's start off with what sectors made what. And in academia, you had some of the lowest salaries with an av or a median of $84,150 a year. Moving on to government, it was $116,196 a year. Industry had the highest pay, which is unsurprising, at $136,000 a year. There were also smaller sectors, such as self-employed, which had a median of $105,000 a year. Other sectors listed had $96,000 a year. And the overall median between all sectors, and this is not splitting up by degree or anything, so just the median for all chemists in the U.S. was $105,000 a year. It is also worth it to note that this is the lowest unemployment the American Chemical Society has ever recorded. This was in 2022. So maybe broader economic factors could be contributing to all of that. Again, I'm uncertain. That's just my own speculation. Moving on from what sectors made what, I'm going to break this down by degree. And the important thing to note here is these aren't starting salaries for any of these degrees. It's just median. So this could be a person with maybe a bachelor's in chemistry with 40 years of experience and also a person with three years of experience responding. And so the median will hopefully give you the best idea of kind of what maybe a average chemist would be making. Moving on, in 2022, a bachelor's median salary was 86150 And remember, this is going to be a lot lower when you first graduate from college without experience, but this is kind of an expected co normal career salary. Moving on, what really surprised me in this survey is that the master's degree had almost no improvement over the bachelor's degree when compared because the, ma the master's degree median salary in 2022 was only $87,000. And so that's kind of maybe a big thing to look out for if you are considering getting a master's, maybe just go ahead and get the PhD, or if you are getting a master's, maybe get into a PhD program and have them basically pay for your master's. 
And so, yeah, maybe paying for a master's isn't entirely worth it if the median between master's and bachelor's is separated by $850 a year. Um, moving up to doctorate, doctorate is where you see a huge bump in how much chemists are getting paid. That median is $115,000 a year. And so the doctorate does seem worth it to go into if you're upgrading from the bachelor's, but with the master's degree, it's not that big of a bump from a bachelor's in chemistry. Also, I think it's a good thing to point out, not related to chemistry, but the median salary in the US, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, is around $54,000 a year. So that's kind of your comparison point if you're comparing getting the chemistry degree versus anything like the median US salary. Moving on from what degree you have, let's talk about chemical engineers versus chemists. I just made a video on the difference of chemical engineers versus chemists, so if you're interested in kind of like what you're actually going to be doing or studying, make sure to check that video out. But for actual salary, one thing I did mention in that video is chemical engineers tend to make more than chemists, and this ACS survey gives the exact numbers on that with chemical engineers having a median salary of $137,000 a year, while chemists only having a median salary of $102,000 a year. And so that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to pick between the chemical engineering and chemistry degree. One unfortunate thing is men have continued to make way more than women in the chemistry space, with men having a median of $120,000 a year and women having a median of only $89,000 a year. Now moving away from some of those demographic statistics on how much people make based off like degree or if they are a man or woman, we are going to move into regional statistics because region in the US is actually super important to how much you're actually going to be making. People on the coasts tend to make more than a lot of people in the central parts of the country, uh, in certain exceptions, some parts of the country where there is a big like petroleum sector will pay a bit more for chemists. So. Moving through in the Pacific region, that's going to be the West Coast, you know, California, Oregon, Washington. Bachelors made 95,000, masters 98. Again, we're seeing that pretty small gap between bachelors and master's degree, while doctorates made around $134,000 a year. The median for that in the region is $123,000 a year. Next, the mountain region, that's going to be like Colorado, Utah. Bachelors made 92,000. Masters, this is actually very, very surprising. And when I first read this, it really caught me off guard. Bachelors making 92,000. Masters making 72,550. That is a $20,000 drop between bachelors and master's degrees. I don't know why that is. That's extremely fascinating. I don't know if there's like a weird line between being under and overqualified for, uh, you know, underqualified for positions where they want a doctorate and overqualified for positions where they want a bachelor's, but that's a really interesting thing to see there, and maybe if you're in the mountain region might influence your decision on going for a master's. Doctorates in the mountain region made 105 and with that ends up with a regional median of exactly $100,000 a year. South, North, Central region is like North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, and that had bachelors at 92,500, masters at 75,000. Again, we're seeing that drop between masters and bachelor's degrees and doctorates at 98,000. This is crazy because we've, in the previous statistics, seen doctorates have a huge bump, but only around $5,000 between a bachelor's and a doctorate in the median salaries. So that gives a regional median of $91,383 a year. The West, South, Central, that's gonna be stuff like Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, had a bachelor's and these had a lot 
lower salaries than the rest of the regions we've covered, had a bachelor's at 66,190, master's at 64,500, and doctorate has had a massive bump between these two up to 110,000, the regional median being $100,000 a year. Now, you have to realize that there were a lot more respondents in this survey with a doctorate. There was only 56 for a bachelor's, 36 for a master's, and 289 with a doctorate. So the statistics here might be a bit iffy. In general, what I've noticed through these surveys is doctorates have been tending to have like four times as many respondents. And that's something I mentioned earlier with maybe people who are going to have higher salaries are going to be more likely to respond. I don't think you're going to get a lot of these bachelor's degrees just out of college making 40, 50 grand a year responding to these surveys. And so I think a lot of these statistics might be skewed upwards. So you do have to keep that in mind. Make sure to kind of not make like these massive conclusions that maybe these median statistics might be slightly inflated. Now going into like the east north central region that's going to be Illinois, Ohio, etc. This is one region where the bachelors made 80,228, the masters made 87,000, and the doctorate jumped up to 109,000 with a regional median of 99,000. Now, again, with these regional medians, we're having a lot more people with chemistry doctorates responding to the survey, and since that median takes into account all the degrees, these medians are going to be inflated slightly. In the east-south central region, we are going to have 83,000 with a bachelor's, 60,000 with a master's and 97,000 with a doctorate regional median at $86,000. One fascinating part of this region is the unemployment rate listed in the ACS was 0%. In general, unemployment was extremely low for chemists in 2022. In the South Atlantic region, the bachelors are at $80,000 a year, master's at $87,484, doctorate at $113. Again, regional median is leaning towards doctorate degrees. Because there are so many doctorate degrees, I think the regional medians are basically going to be doctorate salaries because if I have 600 doctorate degrees and 200 between masters and bachelors responding to the survey, the median is going to be one of those doctorates, even if there are probably far more masters and bachelors degree chemists in the U.S. So that's going to be 106,912. Moving into the mid-Atlantic region, bachelors are at $89,900, masters at $87,000, doctorates at 109, regional median at 105. And finally, we move to New England, which has a bachelor's at 100,000, a master's at 89,814, and a doctorate at 134,000, with the regional median at $125,000 a year. So I hope that broke down a lot of these ACS statistics on salary. It kind of can give you an idea. Again, I think some of the median salaries are pretty accurate of what you're going to see with like these bachelor's degrees throughout all career levels, kind of in a median around eighty dollars to $90,000 a year. Again, that might be slightly inflated because people with higher salaries might want to report their survey more. And again, I think the regional medians are almost a useless statistic because you got a lot more people with doctorates responding to those surveys, and so your regional medians are basically just samples from the doctorate degrees only based off the distribution of how many doctorates responded. And I probably think that's because people who are part of the American Chemical Society are a lot more likely to be people like professors or people who have their doctorate in chemistry and are familiar with academia. And so the American Chemical Society sent out these statistics and these surveys to their memberships. And within their memberships, it's going to skew a lot more to people with doctorate degrees. So you're just going to get a lot more doctorates responding, even if that's not necessarily kind of representative of the general U.S. population. Again, 
when you have the salary split up by degree, it's going to be a lot more representative, like when we're seeing what the median bachelor's or master's makes and the median doctorate. But with those regional medians where it kind of pushes everyone together or kind of gives the median of chemists in general being over $100,000 a year, that's going to be skewed because there's so many more doctorates responding to these surveys than there are bachelor's and master's degrees. And I think that's one of the reasons we saw a lot lower values with master's degrees. You just had so much less master's degrees responding to the surveys, at least put from I saw from their distribution of statistics listed. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope it broke down these 2022 ACS statistics in a relatively digestible manner without you guys having to go get your own ACS memberships. And I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative to many of you who are maybe entering the workforce or in your chemistry degree or maybe deciding to be a chemistry major. And with that, I will see you guys next time.